The government of Ghana is working on a strategic approach to dealing with informal settlements or squatting areas. Housing and Water Minister Colin Crowe, while addressing the launch of the Global Action Plan Participatory Slum Upgrading Program, noted that with the rapid development taking place, Guyana needs to find a solution to this issue. Informal settlements are a challenge for us. Guyana is in the midst of rapid infrastructural development, which includes the construction of roads and highways. And this has brought new demands for an urgent studied sustainable solution. In this regard, a study was commissioned requiring the government to ensure citizens are made aware of the plans and programs regarding informal settlements. Minister Crow said a country team was established which included a number of stakeholders, each of which was given particular roles. They brought different perspectives and a suitable approach to addressing the issue. We are now in possession of a rich base of information which will inform decisions and the concomital actions and importantly, we were able to rally support for the strategy. By now, it must be clear that the transformation we seek will be expensive and therefore, any plan, program or strategy must have adequate financing to achieve its goals. Minister Kroll said to successfully manage the issue, there must be political will for continuous investment, and though there are budgetary constraints, the informal settlement transformational program is funded through a combination of loan financing and grants from various bodies. Lessons from Sophia, one of Ghana's largest informal settlements, which has been ongoing regularization for over 20 years, has demonstrated the capacity for residents of informal settlements to invest in housing once security of tenure has been established. It is testimony to the socio-economic diversity of households living in informal settlements, as well as the capacity for residents to leverage local resources, whether through savings or from overseas remittances. These are tools that can be encouraged and harnessed. The elimination of informal settlements is part of government's ambitious housing targets for Guyana. To achieve this, we have introduced incentives and interventions ranging from subsidies to the provision of cement and steel to any citizen constructing a house. But there is much more to be done. We must bring greater awareness of the issues involved in informal settlements, build stronger partnerships, develop longer-term solutions, and ensure that there is always political will to confront this challenge. Minister Kroll noted that the launch of the Global Action Plan framework is a timely and critical global response to the challenges that informal settlements and slums pose to countries.